Just a minute with Andy Farnsworth from the KSL Traffic Center, but first we want to check on the and Dan Pope telling us the good news is the worst is over. You, the worst is over, and if you look with me real carefully, I don't know if you can see this, there are just these little teeny tiny flurries. This is, we're looking out towards the uh, west, the little, little tiny flurries that are falling. So we're not going to get much more accumulation. The problem is it's so cold. And even if you get just a skiff of snow, it's a problem. Now we still have some lake effect squalls that are hitting Magna, U111, and out towards the uh, valley, out towards Twilla Valley, um, looks like in the Stansbury Park area and out towards Twilla. 24 at the airport, north wind at 8. Let me show you what happened. Overnight, there's that heavy snow, but watch what happens just south of the Great Salt Lake. One little band right there. That's where the heavy snow is this morning. So if you're coming in from Tooele and you have to go through that heavy band, traveling on uh, on the interstate or, or going on 201, you're going to be encountering some brief heavy snow and some very slick roads there. Clouds are beginning to clear out to the snow showers this morning, a few flurries by midday and later in the afternoon, we will see peak Abu sunshine. And the forecast high temperatures are only going to be in the upper 20s. Park City around 21 and Cedar City 29. Lingering snow flurries in the mountains today, but really, honestly, folks, the worst of this storm is over. The problem is it's so cold and the plows haven't been able to clear it. So you've got to slow down. You've got to give that person tons of distance ahead of you, and you need to leave about 30 minutes extra early. So I'm telling you now, get out and get, uh, get moving. Uh, that's all I have to say. Back to you guys. Okay, thanks, Dan. Hopefully people heeding that warning. Time to check in on traffic now.